Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and we will today talk about a uh, feature that is often useful but can sometimes uh, prevent you from accessing um, a piece of information on the web uh, and it's the uh, Internet Explorer pop-up blocker. When uh, you have your Windows 8 machine installed for the first time, your Internet Explorer 10 browser is automatically uh, equipped with a pop-up blocker that is activated by default. And that's what you want because you don't want to have the uh, usual pop-ups of websites annoying you, especially uh, some of the websites are sometimes extremely annoying with that. They uh, pop up lots of uh, publicity and um, lots of ads and all sorts of uh, annoying little windows. Now um, keep in mind that it's limited to a certain type of pop-up uh, because one of the problems with uh, the uh, pop-up system is the fact that you can have uh, what we call pop-unders and these aren't going to be stopped by the pop-up blocker so um, it does not mean because the pop-up blocker is there that you won't have pop-ups but you'll have a lot less pop-ups but one of the problems with the uh, pop-up is that if you are on a website and that you click on a function that requires to uh, open several pop-ups in order to work and that you'll go through what happens is you have the pop-up blocker that might actually block a window that you wanted to see so that becomes an annoying feature in that case so how does it work well just click your Internet Explorer um, desktop version or you can just go into the charms bar on the right side of the screen swipe or go into the corners if you don't have a touch screen and just type pop up and go into settings and you'll see block or allow pop-ups so um, either you go there and it's gonna bring you to the desktop version of Internet Explorer or you go into the uh, pinwheel on the top right Go into Internet Options and click on Privacy. And here you'll have uh, the uh, three or two thirds of the window, I would say, down a little check mark that says Turn on Pop Up Blocker. And you also have Settings. So, first of all, if you want to turn it off, you just take out the check mark. You click Apply at the bottom, and your pop up blocker is always off. I don't suggest that. Uh, I think it's a bad idea to um, actually take out the turn on the uh, pop up blocker. What you might want to do instead is go into settings. So if a website is blocked by the pop up blocker, here you can add the address of a website where the pop ups are always going to be allowed. That's probably the best way to manage uh, your. Uh, pop-up problems on some websites. So add the URL of the website you want the pop-ups. For example, if I would like to have pop-ups on Facebook, I type www.face sorry facebook.com, click add, and there it would be in the allowed website, which means that now facebook.com can show pop-ups and they're gonna really pop up in my window if they were blocked before and of course you can click on any site remove it from the list if you have lots of stuff you can remove all which means you'll remove everything so um, you'll have uh, all that information and you also have at the bottom there a little check mark that says show notification when uh, show notification bar when a pop-up is blocked so it means that at the top or somewhere on your window you'll have a little bar showing that a pop-up was blocked so um, that is pretty much the block 
um, the pop-up blocker settings. You have, of course, the blocking settings, which uh, is by default at medium, block most automatic pop-ups. You can put it at low, a low pop-up from secure sites, and high, uh, block all pop-ups. So, um, depending on what you uh, want to achieve. Now keep in mind that uh, pop-ups are not always because of the browser itself. If you have malware installed, you might have pop-ups of ads that won't be blocked here because they're not coming from the browser itself, but they are uh, kind of turned on or they show up because of the settings, because of the malware software in, in your computer. Um, another problem that people um, will often have is uh, having toolbars at the top of the uh, Internet Explorer window and a lot of these toolbars have their own pop-up blockers uh, the Google toolbar, the Yahoo toolbar for example all have their own pop-up blockers so if you cannot see a window that's popping up and you de deactivate or you deactivate sorry the uh, pop-up blocker in Internet Explorer and it's still blocked then the culprit is probably a toolbar you have in Internet Explorer that you've added with time or that was added when you upgraded some software so uh, be careful with that because it can happen I've seen many many cases of people telling me well okay well I can't access my uh, web account for a bank uh, because it pops up a security window that never shows up and so it doesn't want to sh uh, work and uh, often it's blocked by one of those toolbars so be careful with that also hope uh, it helped if you enjoy our videos uh, subscribe to our channel and you'll be informed when new videos are online it's a great way to uh, know when we have new um, videos and uh, if you have a Windows 8 machine, it's a great way to keep in touch. If you have any comments, questions, let us know. Maybe you have a feature of Windows you'd like us to talk about that we haven't mentioned yet, and you wanna, um, you want us to uh, make a video out of it, then uh, you'll be helping others at the same time, which is pretty cool. So, uh, hey, let us know. And I uh, hope that you enjoy our videos and that you'll come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.